Hey guys, it's Alex here from Omi. In this video, I've got the door window sensor 2 from Pibaro. I want to show you how to pair this device. From the Homey app, let's head to devices and hit the plus in the top right. This is the same process for pairing any other device. In this case, I want to search for the brand Fibaro and tap on the Fibaro app once this comes up. Here you'll see the list of all of the devices that Homey integrates with that Fibaro makes. So I want to select the door window sensor and hit connect. Now, as with any device, Homey offers detailed pairing instructions. In this case, I need to press the button on my door window sensor three times. It shows me a little highlighted icon of what this looks like and where that button is. That's very helpful. So if I turn this over, I can see that I need to press this part up here three times. So if I press this in three times, one, two, three, then I get a little check mark and I've moved on to stage two. Now with most Z-Wave devices, this is a common theme. You press the button three times and you press it again three times. So let's do this again. One, two, three. And the pairing process is now complete. Now I wait until the device has been added to Homey. Once the pairing process is complete, the door window sensor will be added to your devices list. Here I can hold on the tile to get some additional information about the device. So it has a contact alarm, a tamper alarm, and it shows my temperature. Now that contact alarm works on a magnetic field. So if I now move the little sensor away, let's say this would be replicating a door opening or a window opening. If I move it away, the contact alarm will switch over to yes. So it's saying that the contact has been lost. You can also see the battery life. And if you swipe again, you can create a flow. The last page is notifications about this device if you want to see the device history. Now remember that with a door window sensor like this, you can always create flows with Homey to add it to automations in your home. So if you're creating a smart security system and you want to know if someone's entering your home that's unwelcome, make sure to link this up to an alarm using a flow. 